Hi guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com, bringing you weekly videos about psychic development, spiritual and personal growth, and sometimes relationships. So if you're interested in this topic, please go ahead and subscribe if you want to, or hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video, which again is every week. And this one is about a topic I've been talking about a lot lately, which is my Get Him Off Your Mind program, which I created for women who are experiencing that situation. And as I always say, I have to apologize to you guys, um, the Get Him Off Your Mind program I created because women were coming to me with this issue, more so than men. I'd say 98% of my clients um, dealing with this issue were women and just a, f a few men. Um, not to say it doesn't happen to guys and some of it does can pertain to you, but um, that aside, here's the thing I want to talk about, which is when you're in that, in the, the throes of it, and this guy is like kind of not on the scene, but you still can't stop thinking about him or he's on the scene. It's not working out. Either way, you're caught in this obsessive sort of cycle that you don't want to be in. That's what the program's all about, like all these energetic ways to to get that guy out of your system and to reclaim your life and get your energy back. But one of the most important things that you can do is to get yourself as busy as possible. And yes, that's very practical. It's not very like energetic and spiritual and everything. Then again, it can be. So if you're, if you're in a situation where you have time for your mind to wander, it's going to naturally wander over to him. And then you're going to be running those thoughts in your brain, like a hamster on a hamster wheel, like just around and around and around and around and around. But if you're able to divert your focus, you're also bringing your energy back to your life and what you need to be involved in and, and work on. Because when, you, when you're thinking about him a lot, it's like energy just going. I did another video about this and talked about this, by the way, if you want to look back at the past few videos. But it's like your energy is going to him and then it's just hitting a wall because he's not giving you what you need he's pulled back or he's ghosted you or whatever the situation is he's not giving you what you're looking for and your energy is still going out to him but it's not doing anybody any good whereas if you throw yourself into whatever it is you do for work or whatever it is you do for fitness or or even watching a movie or reading a book, anything that will grab your focus 100% so you have to concentrate on it to, um, it, and to the, what's the phrase I'm trying to say? You concentrate on that and you can't focus on anything but that, that's going to save you and that's going to start to break the cycle. You can tr try it and see how long you can go without thinking about him. And at first, I it's probably not going to be that easy. I bet it's going to be, you're going to find that you're not doing it as well as you'd like to, but as you continue to do it, you're going to get better and better. And then it's, he's going to be a distant memory. Now I mentioned that can involve creative projects or what you're doing for work, but sometimes our work is like, we got it on autopilot and then we have time to daydream or when you're driving or whatever. I know you guys, we are we're multitaskers right women we, we know how to do a billion things at once so you have to really get into something that like you 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 can't afford to think about anything else and it's not like with working out for example it's not like being on the treadmill it's like being on the treadmill um running fast and watching the news while listening to music and or you probably can't read while you're running but you know like something that just captures it all or um, I am practicing a form of martial arts like jujitsu and I know in, in when I'm doing that, like I can't think about anything else except that or I won't be able to do it. So think of things like rack your brain for things that can you can get really involved in and, and do it for an hour or do it for two hours and, and um, be creative. We're all different. So whatever works for you. But that's going to be the, the thing you want to do. One more thing I have to add to this video um, while I'm talking about this is 
reach out to your friends and your family for support and let them help you to think about other things. Let them take you away on a weekend trip or to go do something fun or, you know, what I mean, like it, this is the time to call in the forces and, and get yourself feeling like, oh, I have this life. Like I've got these people that love me. I've got fun things to do. I'm awesome. And as a caveat or not caveat, gosh, I'm stumbling over my words today. I have to apologize for that. But um, as an added bonus to that, you being caught up in this will naturally help to raise your self-esteem because of, for a lot of you going through this, I know the self-esteem has really taken a hit and um, I address that and help you work on that in the program too but um, being really busy does have that that benefit it's somehow it's like this magical thing that, that happens and and um, as I said before just keep working at it and it'll get easier and easier and I know it's a very basic kind of tip but sometimes it's the most basic things that help us get through the tough times and I know that this is a very um, difficult kind of position to be in so with that I hope that this helps for more info on get them off your mind just check out the description box below I'll put all that in there and um, I guess that's it thank you and I'll see you next time